it's like a preteen sensory overload. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your very own pop socket fidget spinner. So to complete this DIY project, all you need is a few things. First, you need some super glue. Doesn't matter what brand, so long as it's super glue. I got Gorilla Glue because it was at the hardware store. You also have the top of your pop socket. And then you have any old fidget spinner, so long as it spins. I'm just going with the red one because red is my favorite color. And just to take a quick step back before we really get into the video, I would advise that you pop out your pop socket when you're trying to get the top off, just because when it's down like that, it's really hard to just pry it off of there. And as you can see, once you pop off the first little knob, like so, the rest should just slide right out. And one other piece of advice, if you've never actually used super glue before, when it comes in this tube, it, there's like pressure inside of it. When you open it for the first time, glue usually tends to leak out. So make sure that you put like a paper towel or I'm using a piece of paper. Anything works so long as you cover the table, unless you, you know, really don't care that it's super glue all over the place. Now, lucky for me, I've already opened this one before. So when I pop it off, no leak, but usually there would be. Now, once you have your entire workstation set up, it's really simple. Just take your glue, moderate amount on the little median part of the fidget spinner that you hold, okay? Obviously, don't overload it with glue because then it just becomes too much. I'd say put about a pea size amount on. Oh, make sure you don't drip because I did a little bit and make sure you don't get it on your hands because that's also not good. Quickly, after you do that, quickly place the top of your pop socket down and just let it rest there for about a few minutes. So I've let it settle for about a minute and as you can see, it's on there, right? And it spins. So the only thing that's really left to do now, and, and it's the last step in our process, is just to pop everything right back on. This time I suggest that you keep it down towards the phone, okay? And then you have made your pop socket fidget spinner. And now you can brag to all your friends. And for all the skeptics out there that believe that this is gonna destroy their pop socket, two facts to disprove you. Number one, if you really need to, you can just simply pop off your fidget spinner from the pop socket and then simply just reattach it later and still have the same spinning capability. And number two, as for the kickstand, it actually works even better because now you have like a little bottom mount. Works just as good, if not better, than the regular pop socket. And on top of all that, it can still easily fit right in my pocket. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends so that we can get this cool thing going. Thanks, I'll see you guys later.